Good morning, and welcome to another episode of Holy FaceTime. Uh, <clears throat> still being the month of May, I thought we'd do another uh, from the Marian calendar. Today is uh, May 28th, and it's the Feast of the Relics of Our Lady, uh, Venice, Italy. Um, the abbot Orsini wrote, The Feast of the Relics of Our Lady at Venice, where are exposed to the veneration of the faithful, portions of the robe of the Blessed Virgin, of her mantle, veil, and girdle. In the city of Venice, it was believed that the sacred relics of St. Mark the Evangelist were transferred there in the year 827. As the possessors of the Evangelist relics, the Venetians honored St. Mark as the patron of their city, and the churches of the city teem with images depicting scenes from his life. By the time of the Renaissance, the Lion of St. Mark had become the symbol for the city itself. The other patron and guardian of Venice was the Blessed Virgin Mary, for according to legend, the city had been founded on the Feast of the Annunciation. It is therefore seemed to the people of Venice that their city had also assumed her attributes of purity, perfection, and immortality. Unwalled, their city had remained the refuge of worthy men and singular, singularly unconquered over a millennium. All of Mary's feast days were also celebrated by the secular government through the entire republic. There is in Venice a spectacular 18th century reliquary that contains an extremely rare first-class relic of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Within this reliquary, which bears the personal seal of Pope Pius VI, is a bundle of the Blessed Virgin's own hair. Since the Blessed Virgin Mary was taken into heaven, both body and soul, after her death, it is not possible that any other physical relics of her could exist. The sole possible exception would be her hair. And this bundle of hair had been preserved and venerated since the time of her assumption in the Holy House of Nazareth. Recent archaeological excavations have proven that the Holy House was treated as a Christian sanctuary as early as the 1st century AD. The bundle of the Blessed Virgin's hair is believed to have been brought from the Holy Land by the Crusaders and is venerated in, the Ven in Venice at the Basilica of St. Mark. Well, this is just fantastic. Eh? Beautiful to see so many relics and treasures of the church everywhere. I, it's inexhaustible, inexhaustible how many treasures um, uh, the church has in everywhere in the world, right? Um, so I thought we'd end with a prayer in honor of the infant Jesus and his blessed mother. And I will uh, post this prayer in the show notes. It's called an act of adoration to the incarnate word in the august bosom of the Immaculate Virgin. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. O Word Divine, incarnate for me, I adore thee and I love thee with all my heart. Eternal wisdom, come and teach us the way to heaven. O King of kings, come and reign over the hearts of all men, particularly over mine. Come all ye angels, all ye men, come all creatures, and unite with me in adoring a God so humble. O Holy Virgin, O blessed St. Joseph, obtain for me such a great purity of heart that this divine infant may not be obliged to seek shelter in a stable on finding in my soul obstacles to his graces. May my heart be ever open to him. May he make his throne, and may all the powers of my soul be submissive to him. Open ye heavens. O Mary, give us our King and our Savior. Amen. Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And it's believed that this prayer was composed by Sister Marie de St. Pierre, um, who, of course, is uh, the re revelations for, to the Holy Face, and, um, and it's in the manual of the Holy Face, so uh, f the Arch Confraternity. So, again, I'll post this in the show notes, and I uh, hope you all have a blessed day. And until next time, uh, blessed be his holy name and blessed be the adorable face of Jesus. Amen. God bless you all. Take care.